Viewers, we have texted up and in brother Kiasi hype. I end us a new song, people. I may not tell no lie. The song ya a straight fire. <laughs> Yeah, and you all know when Dapper Dan put in the work, people, you don't know say a straight hit. So leave your thoughts in the comment section, let me know how you feel about this song. Because me personally think it's a hit. Yeah. And promoter, link up the artists, them. the artists them ready for bookings. Yeah, man. Especially Kiasi Hype. Kiasi Hype BS in the Turks and Caicos. I am going to encourage the Prime Minister to put more SOE, state of emergency, in a volatile area. No states of emergencies will never be the answers. But you know, see no humanitarian lawyer like Isaac Buchanan and them take up them type of case there and say justice for victims. When you abuse those benefits that the Constitution gives you, um, there is no absolute right to, no absolute guarantee to any of these rights. And when you forfeit them, don't expect lawyers to assist you or lawyers to, to come to your aid. Viewers, so right here we have um, Isaac Buchanan a defending himself and then let the people them know where he stand and the incident that happened in Cherry Tree, Clarendon people. Yeah people, we all know that this incident we cannot con condole people. Yeah, Jamaica need to be better people. I should say Jamaica will be better. Yeah people, so... Make we hear what Isaac Buchanan a deal with. There, is, there has been several things that's happened that has been happening in the Jamaican space, and that's something that I want to talk about before we even kick off the show. So, while while it is that I do make an effort to um, educate at the same time, entertain. Sometimes we have to pause when there are serious issues that take place in the Jamaican space. One such issue is the cherry tree incident in clarendon um i don't know if you could ever unsee it but i'm i'm using my platform to address it it was a horrific event it was an event where even as a human rights attorney it allows you to stop pause and think and issues in relation conversations in relation to the use of the death penalty in the jamaican space is live However, there will be some people who are completely, even with legal training and education, misunderstand the impact of the death penalty, whether or not the death penalty is on the books in Jamaica. And let me start off by saying this. If you did know, the death penalty, although since 1988 it has not take, taken place in Jamaica, it remains on our books. Nobody needs to make new law to use it. Um, in fact, there is authority from the great apex court, the Privy Council, which, say, which has not said, or should I say, it says that the death penalty can be used in Jamaica. It is reserved for the worst of the worst. What is incumbent on the court, as well as lawmakers, is to define whether or not this particular case that took place, the incident that took place in Cherry, Cherry Tree Lane in Clarendon is sufficient to be considered the worst of the worst, which would allow the office of the DPP to apply for or give notice that they want to use the death penalty. Um, and so... You might have heard in other spaces that we need to legislate and we need to make this and we need to make that. No, that is just um, use of platforms to incite the public to feel a certain way or to, to, to trick the public into thinking that something great is going to happen. I don't think I need to use my platform to tell anybody that um, use of states of emergency is a waste of money. And... Um, I, I say that on my own footing without having to represent a, 
with, without representing any organization, anybody. And I've done it before where I've challenged the government and if it has to happen again, it will. Because the way to deal with crime is to educate the people. The way to deal with crime is to ensure that community policing, um, empowering citizens to take charge of their communities is the only way. Include them, do not dehumanize them. And if government really wants to do something, they will find ways to actually put money in people's pocket um, so they can purchase love if they can't get it. Yeah, you got that? That's that great. That, that, that's, that, that's, that's that Dennis Brown. Money in my pocket, but I just can't get no love. Imagine not having money in your pocket. You have to get the money before you can get the love. So that's really a basic conversation that I'm having. So when, when, we, when we think about that, um, when we think about that in terms of what's happening in the Jamaican space locally, we must not forget, I, certainly in my lifetime, this in my, in my assessment would be defined as a mass shooting. It's not terrorism, but it's a direction that nobody wants to see Jamaica going. And it's something that we have to do to correct it. So uh, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a doctor, whether you're an Indian chief, whether you're a police, whether you're a soldier, whether you're a, a, a JLP, whether you're a PNP, whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're a, whether you're a track star that runs the 400 meter but decide that your boyfriend is the 100 meter world champion, whatever you are, you co when you think about Jamaica, you have to think about it through lens that we want a better Jamaica and we are totally, totally saying that crime is not something that we are going to condone. Um, mass shootings like we are living in the United States when people get angry, they take up guns and take out multiple people. We're not about that. Um, so for those reasons, um, we are to definitely think and as we are thinking, we should say to ourselves, is this what we want for our nation? The simple answer to that, if you are thinking critically and context do matter, the answer has to be no. And for those reasons, the message should be sent that if you feel that you can assault, murder, kill, maim your brothers and sisters, then you probably really don't belong in this society that is Jamaica. And at the same time, those who have the platform and have the power, notwithstanding that people are cloaked in the presumption of innocence and you have the law, that when you abuse those benefits that the Constitution gives you, um, there is no absolute right to, no absolute guarantee to any of these rights. And when you forfeit them, don't expect lawyers to assist you or lawyers to, to come to your aid when it is evident on its face that what you are doing is brutality. And that's simply my position. So I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself to say that um, where it is that human rights is for all, the right to life is, is paramount, the, the right to life is, is, is sacrosanct. And anytime you breach it and anytime you violate it, um, you can't, repetitiously like a serial killer a serial rapist expect that anybody should have compassion and empathy for you so we go back to the basics of the ten commandments or the commandments and you do unto others as you would have them do unto you if that is even the beatitudes wherever you find it whatever your religion there's just basic tenants tenets to life that we are to live or or we are to live by to, to especially try to get the best out of life and it's just to do good. If we're doing that, then we won't have a problem and we won't have to listen to prime ministers and sleeping ministers of national security pretending that they're doing something because, again, Jamaica is a high crime society and it simply means that when you live in a high crime society, as citizens, you have to take extra steps to ensure your safety, your life, and your security because the government has failed. No states of emergencies will never be the answers. And criminals, when you commit the crime, the mandate in Jamaica, as you see it, they are not likely to get to court. So this is just a lawyer saying to you, um, protect your life, treat your neighbors fairly, and 
your sisters and your brothers be happy for their lives so your life can be happy. And again, if you want a bandana for 2,000 US dollars, check me. Two of them, yeah, about 1,999. Same thing. All right.